The notion that nanomaterials could grant humans super abilities is alive and well in the realm of science fiction. But that fantasy could now be closer to reality, at least for plants. Researchers from the University of Melbourne have found a way to form special nanomaterials known as metal organic frameworks, or MOFs, directly inside of plant tissues. The result is nanobionic superplants with the capacity to sense chemicals and weather severe growing conditions. Reporting their findings at the latest spring meeting of the American Chemical Society, Joseph Richardson and his colleagues are exploiting an old florist trick for getting plants to do unnatural things. Dipping flower stems in dye-colored water can breathe dazzling new life into otherwise plain flower petals. The same route, it turns out, is perfect for transporting the starting materials for fluorescent moth crystals into plant tissues. An up-and-comer in the nano world, moths consist of metal ions or clusters linked to organic molecules. This structure makes for highly porous crystals, capable of storing and releasing chemicals like a sponge. Over the past two decades, chemists have created thousands of moths whose potential applications range from energy storage to drug delivery. In a proof-of-concept experiment, the Australian team showed that lotus plant clippings containing homegrown moths were able to detect small concentrations of acetone, as indicated by a decrease in the nanomaterial's fluorescent glow. The team plans to explore whether other plant-moth hybrids can be used to detect explosives and other dangerous chemicals. In addition to boosting plant abilities from within, the team showed that light-absorbing moths could form a protective coating on the outside of plants. The researchers coated clippings of chrysanthemums and lily turf with the moths and then exposed them to UVC light, a part of the solar spectrum that can damage plants and even cause cancer. Compared with unprotected plants, the coated plants showed less wilting and bleaching. Richardson and his team have yet to observe any toxicity toward their plant samples, but more work is underway to understand the full effects of moths on plant growth. If successful, their research could lead to more and varied superplants capable of thriving under harsh conditions.